What's going on, everybody? Happy Wednesday. I know this video had to come out earlier. I am just slammed this week with work. As we crew always, if you haven't been with me lo long enough, you just subscribed this year, you'll learn towards the end of the year with tax season, I get slammed because there's a lot of balancing out books, um, pushing out stuff, buying stuff, whatever it may be to get my, um, I guess you'd say spending and buying somewhat similar onto it with what I carry over each year. But today, there was a topic on Instagram. I'm going to put the link in the description. You guys have to check it out. I can't put the name out on here just because part of the last name, screen name is kind of flaggable, I guess you could say, on YouTube. I know, or yeah, I know a couple of you guys did hit me up or tag me in the post. And I know I talked about this a long time ago. So I'm going to start it off with this here. If you were to buy into a break, do you mind a breaker taking spots into that break? My thoughts are this. If for if I was a breaker for the last three or four years and I wanted the Pittsburgh Pirates and I took the Pittsburgh Pirates in every break, I could maybe, maybe see that. That might be my only slightest thing onto it. Honestly, I'd rather just go take the Pirates in somebody else's break. I was always the person I didn't like taking spots in my breaks unless I really had to. And what I would do is say we were down to like two teams left in a break and they were like $20, $30 teams. I'd be like, all right, guys, somebody's got about the next two minutes to buy them or I'm going to take them. And if nobody bought them, I took them, but I gave plenty of time and opportunity for everybody to buy into that. I do know there were breakers in the past that were like, I'm a dead hot, you know, um, like Chicago Cubs fan. The Cubs are always mine. Well, in my opinion, is from a business standpoint, then go buy them somewhere else and let somebody in your break buy them because you're just going to set yourself open. If the team sat there and you offered it to everybody for a while, I'm not talking about one minute or five minutes, an hour, two hours, whatever it may be. A couple hours come by and you're live. Nobody takes them, then take them when you're ready to close the breakdown. But um, there, there's been some crazy stuff that's gone on in the past to where, you know, some people had workers that used to buy in their breaks and stuff like that, you know, because they had hired help, you know, whether it was sorting, shipping, whatever it may be. I never saw an issue with that. I never did. Um, it wasn't the breaker as one of the employees, but now it's starting to get a little bit different and crazy out there because there were times where people used to claim, oh, well, that person took that high price team because they knew it was, you know, da, 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 whatever it may be. Everybody has the same odds. What I would have the biggest thing is what I've been noticing and seeing is that, <laughs> believe it or not, breakers are taking the top teams whether they're telling people or not in every single break, you're not a fan of every top team. If you're going to do that, then you need to basically just go out there and buy them somewhere else or whatever it may be. You know, it might just be you know, shouldn't be breaking. I mean, everybody's got their own opinion. I'm just curious where everybody else stands on to this with it. To me, the only time I ever took a spot in my breaks was basically because there was a couple teams left. Nobody wanted them, and I wanted to get the thing broken. I needed to get sorting and shipping done. It was getting late that night, and I had to push through because we were doing, you know, three breaks sometimes a week, a Wednesday, a Friday, and a Saturday break. And when you work full time, it, it, it was painful trying to get everything out the next day. But there was something that came up on Instagram some of you guys might see it. Again, thank you all for tagging me and sending me links to this stuff. Um, basically, this person or group, I don't know which one it is, uh, they were alerted to a sneaky little trick that some breakers have been using in their breaks. They said it's pretty scammy and should be avoided at all costs. Here's how it works. A breaker advertises a break, but when they start selling spots, they reserve the best spots for themselves. To me, that's crap. You shouldn't be doing it. Just... Break the whole case yourself. So what they're doing is, I'm buying my case. I can see that after I cut all my ends off, the Hornets, we're going to go basketball, the Hornets and Timberwolves would only cost me 600 instead if I went into X, some X and O's or Joe's break, where it would cost me $1,000 for them. 
I'm going to take a gamble on my own case. I'm just going to take them all. And what they're doing is they're putting some crazy, funky name in there that nobody ever knows or sees into it or whatever it may be. I don't know. But this is what they're catching now, and a lot of people are seeing it. So let me see where it's at here. Example one, and it says who the breakers are. I don't know these breakers. So that's why I didn't put it up there. It could be coincidental because, like I said before, this was, there was a time like four years ago. There were a couple people that were saying stuff like this, and it was really, really untrue onto them. It was just that some people don't talk in the chats. Some people don't watch the live videos because of work or other engagements, and they just watch the recap because they don't want to spend two hours watching a break open up like Bowman Chrome or you know whatever else is going on. And I just know this from being a breaker before that a lot of people just watch the recaps on to it and they would just move on. But, um, okay, first breaker advertises a break for NT and Optic Basketball, the best two hits of the Hornets and the Timberwolves. However, both these spots have already been taken by somebody. And wouldn't you know it, so-and-so works for this breaker. Ah, uh, you know, that's one of them things that you got to look at as a breaker do you allow your employees to take spots in your breaks? And if it's happened that that same person is taking them every single break you're doing, whether you're only breaking one, twice, three times a week, then that's skeptical. It really is. Um, it might be no harm, no foul into it, but if it's when the break is posted, if you notice those teams are quickly gone, it could be. It very well could be. All right, the next one they said that is very questionable is so-and-so advertises a break of 2021 Topps Chrome Major League Soccer. The best hit from this product is Ricardo Pepe, who plays for FC Dallas. Pepe is probably worth about 70% value of the entire box if pulled. Pretty much about right. In this example, so-and-so openly takes the FC Dallas spot. See, that there, I, I wouldn't get in that break. I really wouldn't. And if everybody else that's getting into it shouldn't offhand. Um, it just seems very, very skeptical onto it that, you know, breakers are going to get in their own breaks. I mean, you're breaking for other people. I got it if there's like two spots left, maybe three max, and you're just going to take them to move on because you've been trying to get them sold and you just can't. Um... Let's see here. There was something on here. Oh, uh, I, I, you guys will see the whole thing on it. I'll put the link in the description. But I was trying to see some open dialect in the conversation, the comments. And feel free to, you know, comment on other people's, you know. It's always good to see what somebody else is seeing behind their screen, through their eyes, however you want to say it. Because if you approach it with an open mind, when you do it, you can learn a lot. And everybody has their own thought process of what they see. Some people might say scam, some might not. In the one group, uh, somewhere on here, it was saying that during their chat, people filled the comment section up telling what they were doing was borderline unethical. Uh, yeah, yeah, pretty much. I mean, if you announced as soon as you started it that you're taking them, and then everybody took their spots... That's on them because they already know you had it. But if there was like 10 teams already taken off and then you take them or something like that, that's just wrong without letting everybody have a chance at it. I mean, that's just the way I see it, but I don't break anymore. I'm no longer a breaker for various reasons. Um, I just, I, I wanted people won't do it. There, there's times I see breakers do it just because, hey, you know what? If none of you guys are going to take this team, I'm taking it. You all got 10 minutes. And the pro break's been posted for an hour, hour and a half. Hey, go for it. You give everybody a chance to do it. I'm fully supportive of that. If you're taking it before you offer it to your customers, and I'm not talking about, oh, I offered it, but one minute went by, five minutes went by. In reality, not what you're telling everybody, then you're wrong. That's just wrong because you're trying to get everybody else to pay for your product while you take a smaller gamble with more product with the big teams. That's just not right. 
that that's my opinion on to it. But again, I'll put the link down there, you guys. Um, let me know what you guys think on to it. Sorry, there's a blank screen. All you can see is my hand and some stuff I got to get shipped out and stuff. But uh, I, I, I seen it, and then I thought about this probably now for, I think it's been about two days since I was alerted to this. Maybe three. And I wanted to really think how to really approach this, because this is kind of a sensitive area. One, because I was a breaker, and I could say I did take teams in my breaks, but... I had to break on my website. I went live for a day, and then I went back live again. We were down to the same teams. I had a good bit of people in the chat. So they let somebody want these, I'm taking them. You know, they've been here way too long. And then i just take them. And then I'd still offer it up for sale until I opened that first pack. But, you know, it's just, do you move the product or not? But when you're taking somebody good out of it, that's a different story. That that Especially the top team or team, two teams. All right, guys, you guys have a good week. Again, I'll be live Thursday evening with Triple Threads. <coughs> um, Friday, I will be live with Joey. Wait, no, I will not be live Friday for overtime. I got a show Saturday. Sorry, guys. Show Saturday. Um, overtime will come back the following Friday. So other than that, uh, thank you guys for all the emails and always send me stuff. I'm trying to get back as quick as I can. I had to pow in a lot of work for these last two weeks um, where I was doing a lot more of my regular job in the evenings, trying to uh, be ahead of the program because I have to be, I have what they call use or lose vacation. I got to use before the end of the year and I've been starting to take it gradually and now it's catching up. I got to use a lot more up. So um, a little, little bit more uh, stuff going on, but, all right, everybody, you guys take care. Have a good rest of the week. Hopefully you come by Thursday, watch me open up some triple threads. Talk to y'all later. Bye.